the belts of earthquake and volcanic activity did indeed follow the mid-oceanic ridges and trenches. In the early 60s, a remarkable discovery here on the mid-Atlantic ridge provided an explanation for the undersea tremors and volcanism. The sea floor was actually fracturing and spreading. Further investigation brought yet another discovery. This gradual separation of the Earth's crust was occurring along all the mid-oceanic ridges. With the discovery of seafloor spreading, science now had an explanation for the disturbances along the oceanic ridge systems. But this still left unexplained the severe earthquakes and volcanism that from time to time shook the continental mountains. Ridges are spreading to either side of South America. The continent isn't getting smaller. Therefore, something must be happening to the ocean floor between the two ridges. It was proposed that the sea floor was descending beneath South America. This offered a plausible explanation for the severe earthquakes and volcanoes that plagued the Andes. So the process of spreading the creation of new sea floor is balanced by destruction along trenches. Science now had a viable explanation for the disturbances along continental mountains. Over the last decade, the pieces of this remarkable puzzle have been isolated and examined, and recently have been fitted together into a coherent whole. The result is a revolutionary theory known as plate tectonics, a theory that yielded a solution to the enigma of mountains. <laughs>